deux, je peux y aller. It is now 6.31, and we want to go ahead and move into our special call meeting today. It is May 7, 2024, and this meeting is called to order. I'll actually do the invocation uh, for today as well as the Pledge of Allegiance. So let us all bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for bringing us back to this meeting place one more time. We thank you for just being amazing in this community. God, we ask that you continue as we move forward to do the business of Newton County. God, that you will continue to lead us and guide us and direct us into all truth. And God, that you will have your way in this place. God, we ask that you give us the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding to be able to make great decisions uh, for Newton County. Uh, and as we move into the special call meeting, we ask that our hearts and minds will be clear and that we will be able to make the right decisions uh, that will help benefit this community. We thank you. We praise you. We give you all the kingdom, honor, and the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, I believe everybody had an opportunity to look at the agenda, and so I'd like to call for a motion to adopt uh, the special call meeting agenda for tonight. And is there a second? All right, we have a motion and we have, we have a motion and we have a second to adopt the agenda. All in favor? Commissioner Sanders, any opposed? All right, that motion has passed. All right, item number four is to consider and approve resolution R050724, a resolution authorizing the staff and professionals to proceed with the issuance of a revenue bond or bonds and for other purposes. Um, I'm going to turn it over to um, Mr. Harold Cooper to get our presentation started today. Thank you, Commissioner Mace. Uh, at this time, we're going to have Mr. Patrick Jockstetter read the resolution in its entirety just to take a step back and put everything in perspective. On March 5th, we had a workshop with Ms. Trudy Henry, our E911 director with the city of Covington, expressing the need for a new E911 Center. As you all know, it is our dispatch hub for all of our public safety here in Newton County, so it's desperately needed. We decided at that point that we will take the route of the Public Facilities Authority uh, system to ensure that we can uh, have this center uh, in the coming years. So at this time, I'm going to yield to Attorney Jockstead. Thank you, sir. So uh, rather than reading verbatim the resolution, I'm going to tell you what it does. Um, but first of all, I want to give you a little background. The Public Facilities Authority exists in Newton County for precisely this purpose, to it enable you to use uh, more creative financing options to build public facilities. Um, by virtue of your membership on the Board of Commissioners, you are immediately a member of the Board of Directors of the Public Facilities Authority. So you're sitting here today not as a member of the Board of Commissioners, but as a member, a board member of the Public Facilities Authority. The resolution before you that we're asking for approval has really two sections that are relevant. The others are, I don't like to say boilerplate, but relatively boilerplate. Uh, section one is an authorization to proceed. This will authorize county staff, your financial advisors, um, your bond attorneys and myself to proceed with the work we need to do to proceed to issuance of bonds, which is the way the county borrows money in order to build the E911 center. That's what section one authorizes us to do. This authorizes us to go to work. Section two authorizes the chairman of the authority 
to execute those documents necessary to, to get this bond done. Now, it will have to ultimately be approved likewise by the Board of Commissioners, but for now, the Public Facilities Authority is going to authorize us to proceed and the chair to execute the documents we need executed during that process. Um, sections three and four ratify any actions we've taken to date. We have done some preliminary work, nothing, nothing earth shattering, nothing, nothing um, you know, terribly substantial. Most of the work is to be done. And section four just repeals any ordinances in effect that conflict with this, there are none. And then section five is the effective date. It's gonna go into effect immediately so that we can go to work immediately. So if you have any questions, I'm happy to, happy to answer them. Thank you so much, Patrick. So I'd like to go ahead and get a motion on the floor in regards to this particular resolution. And is there a second? All in favor? Oh, I'm sorry, yes, discussion. Are there, is there any discussion at all? Commissioner Sanders, is there any discussion? All right, since there's no discussion, all in favor? Commissioner Sanders, any opposed? All right, so that passes four to zero. I'd like to have a motion to adjourn. And is there a second? All right, we have a motion and a second. All in favor? Commissioner Sanders? All opposed? All right, this meeting is adjourned. Thank you. <laughs>